Jack, sum it up for us. Uh, uh, another challenging qualifying session. It was challenging, yeah, and it seems to be whatever we do in qualifying this year and actually a little bit last year as well. Um, we seem to be ending up between P17 and about P20, P21. And well, the good news is we're at the top end of that uh, usual qualifying segment than we usually are. So every cloud and all that, but um, you know, we we're not uh, leaving anything on the table. That's a fact. And you know, we're dragging every last little bit out of this team hard uh, VWCC and. We'll keep on pushing and we usually uh, go better on a Sunday than we do on a Saturday, so, you know, we're looking positive. On the other hand, it is a, a venerable old car, which I think you've got a fair bit of affection for. Yeah, I mean, I drove it in 2014 for the first year. Not quite as early as Tom. Obviously, Tom drove it in 2013 and he's sort of waving a goodbye uh, in its last sort of year. So, yeah, it, it's, it's a soft spot for it, but I'd have a bigger soft spot for it if it was... Battling for P1, maybe. <laughs> what do you think it might achieve in uh, uh, the rest of its life in the course of this season? Oh, this is British touring cars. I mean, anyone's guess, really. Um, we go into the weekend at the minute knowing we don't have probably outright qualifying speed. Um, and our sort of outlook on the weekend is focus on race three. So stay out of trouble in race one. Pick up some points. And then put yourself in the mix for uh, reverse grids and then get your elbows out a little bit and uh, see what we can do. But there's a glimpse into the team hard future in the last couple of weeks with the announcement of uh, the new car, the Cupra, coming along. Um, what can you tell us about that project? Um, I can tell you I haven't twisted Tony's arm quite enough yet to give me one of them. Um, but, you know, we're working hard behind the scenes. Um, they've already got one car off to the, uh, the cage place, so... It's full steam ahead. I think the second car is being used as one of the crew cars this weekend. So second car's here and then, yeah, we'll go from there, really. But it's full steam ahead. Obviously, it's a little bit difficult this year with the, the condensed calendar as well, because the boys are getting ready for race weekends at the same time, looking forward sort of towards next year. So, yeah, they've got their work cut out and I hope they're uh, not hoping for an easy Christmas. Yeah. And it's also got to fit in with the new regulations, isn't it? It's, uh, um, it's going to be a tough old schedule. Exactly that, you know, we're building the car with sort of one eye um, for 2022 with the hybrid kit. So, yes, we want results if I'm driving it next year. Um, we'd like to have results next year, but also you've got to think about developing it for the following year when you have the hybrid kit bolted into the car as well. So, yeah, we've, we've got to uh, get our heads together, um, get our budgets together and do it all in a, a very short time frame. At the same time, obviously, with the, uh, the global pandemic, and um, the B word, the Brexit word, I can't talk about too much. You know, it's, it's never easy to get sponsorship, but um, we have our work cut out currently. But hopefully put on a good show this weekend and uh, go even better next year. Yeah, so many words we can't talk about these days. But, but you're keen to be there next year with a new car. Definitely, yeah. I mean, I've done the last year and what, year and two thirds with uh, the team Hard Boys and Girls. And it's a great, great bunch. You know, the passion, the dedication, and it's a family sort of environment as well, which I really like. Um, I had something similar at Eurotech. And obviously with Team Hard, it really is a family team. And I like that. And it would be quite difficult not to jump in the new car after uh, waving goodbye to the VW at the end of this year. So we'll work hard. You know, I've got some brilliant partners myself. So Candio Vision, uh, UK Circuits, uh, Champion RV, all those guys. And obviously Tony and the guys at uh, Team Hard, they've got RCIB Insurance and all their partners. So we need to work together very hard over the winter and maybe look outside the box and try and make sure we got our budget together to go racing next year. Before all that, have a great weekend. Fingers crossed, Matt.